What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. Just got back in town from Orlando. It's actually testing out a new product. Well, a product I've been telling you guys about for a while, but it's a, a product that I've probably been working on for about three years now um, with some of my friends and uh, these arrived while I was gone. So let's open them up. We got one from Hookah Stands, one from Five Star, and one from Hookah Dash Shisha. So we got a variety of stuff. Let's actually start in the middle because I have no idea what's in this box. If you guys are not familiar, these are my uh, on the clock unboxings, and this is my ice cream shop. Yes, so I have an ice cream shop called Where's the Scoop? Oh, thank you, cameraman, for showing them my shop. Yes, so if you're ever in Atlanta, come visit. It's called Where's the Scoop? Currently in Johns Creek. Uh, next one is going to be in Alpharetta, probably in February, and then one in Midtown shortly after that. So, new stores to come. So, let's see. If you guys didn't watch these last time, I just take the advantage of the time while I'm at work to show you guys these new products, you know? The more content, the better. Ooh, look at this. Goodies. By the way, these are the best candies. Never had these. You'll have one later, Kangaman. They're so good. Peanuts, great for the environment. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, let's see what we got. I have no idea what this stuff is. Sent from Alex Care Package. She's always got some new products in, so he wanted me to test them out. I think this is the new Bambino. So I loved the old version of the Bambino. This is the new one. You know Alpaca makes the best bowl. So excited for this. Let's see what else we got. An Amy Deluxe hose. Look at this print. What do you think about this? Your style? No? Maybe? Okay, no. You can add your own commentary if you'd like. All right, let's see what this is. I have no idea what this is. Oh, okay, this is very cool. So this is a molasses catcher. So you put this on top of your hookah. I believe this is universal, and it prevents the molasses and juices from getting into your stem and base. So it keeps it nice and clean. These are very popular overseas, like in Germany. And this is a blade one. So I actually asked Alex for this super awesome device, especially for someone like me, who doesn't clean out their hookah as much as they should. So this is gonna be pretty cool. You guys will see reviews of all this stuff. Oh, the machining on this is nice. Oh, like locked into place. I like this. Can you see this? Looks good? Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Oh, no. oh! I asked for this. I didn't know I was gonna get it. Alex, you're the man. You're the man. Okay. Cameraman, can you see this? It's pretty epic. Look at this pipe, can we see this? Ooh, I'm so excited. I don't know what all this says. It's not even in English. Look at this. I'm genuinely excited, genuinely. This is, let's see how to assemble this. Maybe I should follow the directions, but who needs directions? I would imagine this goes in here. So this is the Mexanica. I didn't want to say the name on camera because I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to. I can't wait to get home and try this out. So Brandon actually had, a, I guess from Peter Smoke and uh, Jack, and they sent these out to Sally and I saw hers and I was like, man, I really want one of those. So now I have one. Look at this thing. I'm gonna set this up later because I have no idea what I'm doing, but. Look at this pipe, very unique design. What is this, that steampunk look? Is that what this is, steampunk, yeah? Got it right? Cameraman's way smarter than I am. He's cool to him. Ooh, this is nice, very good quality. So, I'll show you guys this up close in the video, but I have plenty more stuff to show you guys. So, thank you, Alex, for this. Let's open this as well. Alex hooked me up. And this is cool, because my birthday's coming up. This is the early birthday present. He didn't even know it. And this is gonna be the matching base. Oh, this is the base here. Very unique design on this base. I saw these on his Instagram. Look at this. Look at the shape on that. I don't have a base like that at all. This is pretty awesome. So, this is gonna pair very nicely with this hookah. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's do this one next. So this hookah stands, I've been using hookah stands now for like, what, three years? You guys see them in my videos. They protect your hookah from falling over. And you guys saw, I got a dog, he's awesome and huge, but more than likely he's gonna knock over hookah. So I definitely need products like this. 
saves your carpet from getting messed up. As you guys know, I burned many rugs in my life and uh, I don't want to do it ever again, so here we go. Actually, I got a pretty funny story from New Year's. Uh, this girl actually ended up knocking over a hookah and uh, it did not burn the hardwood floor and it was a brand new house. Like, the house had just been built like a couple weeks ago. But thankfully, it did not burn the hardwood floor. So if you had one of these stands, that wouldn't even be an issue. It would not go over. Hookah right. stands. You guys can check these out on Amazon. Of course, I will have a review of this. He's always making improvements to his design. So gave him some feedback on the old ones. They still look awesome. They still look like they're brand new. But I told him he needs to adjust the diameters a little bit. So this base is a little bit smaller, better to fit on your countertop. You insert your hookah in here and it doesn't fall over. So pretty awesome. watched an unboxing video? They're kind of weird, right? Mm -hmm. They would be watching me do like open boxes. Like Christmas for me, not for you. All right, cool. So look, you guys can kind of see, you get the idea. You put this in here. You put your little thingies around the top like this. And then imagine stem coming out. Oh, we can actually just kind of shake it. See how it look. This was all locked into place, you can see. So, if it gets jostled, your hookah actually won't fall over. So that's pretty cool. So, I can see the size a little bit smaller here. I think the diameter might be a little bit larger here. Spot for the LED in the bottom. But you guys can see a full review of all this stuff. Let's put it to the side. Let's see what else we got. This is an awesome day for hookah. All right, flavors. I know what these are. So, these are the new Alfaker Crafted Batch Series. You guys know I like the first three that I tried. I saw the flavor profiles on these and I was like, damn, I'm fucking coming out with some new stuff. So they're straying away from their old traditional style and coming out with something modern. Crafted batch number 22. Let's see, what is this? Lime, tequila, and eucalyptus. Should we open this? Cameraman, you look like you're excited for this one. Do you like tequila? They can't hear you if you're nodding. Oh, oh yeah. Mmm. Let's see, okay. see what else we got here. Crafted batch number 86. Grape, mulberry. Grape and mulberry. What the hell is a mulberry? Interesting. <laughs> All right. And what is this one? So, crafted batch number five. This looks like it might be an orange flavor. Let's see. Ooh, orange, pineapple, raspberry, and lime. That sounds amazing. You wanna just work my shift tonight so I can go home and smoke? Yeah. Oh, this smells delicious. <laughs> so, thank you, Five Star, Hookah Dash, Shisha, and Hookah Stands for all the stuff, like I said, early birthday presents, which you guys, of course, will see reviews on all this stuff, especially this hookah. I'm so excited for this. So, thank you guys very much. I'm gonna pack some AF in that probably tonight and I'll give you guys my thoughts on them. But thank you guys as always for watching. Of course, if you liked the videos, the on the clock unboxings, feel free to uh, let me know. I can do more for you guys. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.